Welcome back to the Wild Attractions weekly vlog and this weekend we're in Houston, Texas for a very particular reason which I will be announcing at the end of this video so make sure to stick around to hear the announcement. Anyways, we're going to go herping in the morning but right now I'm at my friend's house and I'm going to be spending the night here but I will see you guys in the morning. Ooh, he's on the move right now but we just found a western ribbon snake right here right off the trail walking around this little park here. And uh, looks like a tarantula hawk right there. Big wasp. I don't know if I'll be able to get my hands on this ribbon. He's already pretty alert. But I could try and get some uh, poison ivy along the way. And guys, we just found our first snake of the day here in uh, the eastern Texas forest right here, woodlands. This is a beautiful western ribbon snake, Thamnophis proximus. Just found uh, cruising off the trail right here. These are little amphibian and fish eaters. Uh, same genus as garter snakes. Really pretty. These ones in this area have this cool little blue tint though, here on the face. Check that out. Really neat little snakes. Pretty common. But uh, there's a few other species we can find in this area, so we're gonna try to find them too but cool to see. We're gonna let him go here in a minute. Keep looking around. Oh, he's pretty. He is not a happy camper. Oh my God. He's just giving me a kiss, you know, thanking me for catching him. <laughs> Look at those cool blue colors on the head there. It's a Western ribbon snake. Thamnophis proximus. Super common little snakes. They hunt uh, amphibians and fish mostly. Um, we do get these over in Austin, but uh, they look quite a bit different over there. Not quite as much blue on the face. All right, here's one more look at this beautiful western ribbon snake. You can see it chewed on me. Pretty good right here. It's not a big snake at all, but they have like uh, anticoagulants in their venom that make your wounds bleed a bit more. To clarify what I meant to explain here is that ribbons like other Sweet. nature scene snakes are thought to have exactly anticoagulants and possibly here, even a form of pretty, venom uh, in their saliva, but snake. it's definitely not harmful to people, so that's not something to worry about. Got our second ribbon snake on this trail here. Same species, western ribbon snake. He was just scooting up this little hill. He's cute, feisty. These ribbons are not playing around. Super neat. Let's see, doesn't. One second. It's pretty. Oh, you got a snake? Yeah, just a little ribbon snake. Oh, cool. <laughs> Do you guys see a lot of snakes on here? Uh, no, I haven't. Oh, really? I've seen a big one. <laughs> oh my goodness, is it venomous or no? Uh, not venomous, no. no. Look at that tongue. Yeah. How, they will, I? they will make you bleed though. Yeah, yeah, really? of course. Yeah, but totally harmless. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> that is so cool. Thank you. <laughs> of course. Yeah. pretty blue between the scales. As they get older, they tend to get more uh, bluish towards the chin um, in this area of East Texas near Houston. Cutie though. Not a newborn, definitely decent size. Um, they come out even quite a bit smaller than this, if you could believe it. This guy's probably maybe a yearling, close to it. He's cool though. He's actually got a little scar right here. Yeah. Looks like something tried to attack him. 
That was neat. It's cool. Hello. How's it going? That's uh, so cool. <laughs> There's a little. Is that tarantula hawks? Checking him out. We've got a big male brown and all right here. This is an invasive species in the U.S. Um, I have seen many, many, many of these in South Florida, but it seems they are in Houston, Texas area as well. Cool. We've seen one green and all before this, a couple skinks, and a lot of couple, few of these guys. But very common. Herps. So if you look right there, Michael just spotted a broad banded water snake. We have seen these on the channel before a few times. Really, really pretty water snake species that we have here. He's kind of in a tricky spot, so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get to him without falling in that disgusting puddle and catching some kind of strange unknown disease but um you see him super cool could add that to the list that's species number two today snake number three that we've seen they are out but it is getting a bit hot out here it's heating up quite a bit these little puddles down in this ravine are going to be the best chance we have of uh finding some snakes so if i can't get to him we'll just keep walking around and i'll let you guys know when i see something else michael with his second spot of the day let me know if you can see it right there it's a young common snapping turtle just hanging out in this little pond right here They blend in so well too. Great camouflage hunters. He's probably hunting in here, tadpoles. There's minnows all over the surface. I'm sure he's eating. They're pretty opportunistic. They'll eat all kinds of animals, snakes or frogs that might fall into. Not super picky. Cool. So, me and Michael just got done uh, doing a little bit of herping this morning for a couple hours. Here's a young common five line Texas skink. I managed area. to catch a um, quick glimpse of before he disappeared into his log. See what uh, what all we could find, but I knew it'd be hit or miss. We did actually see what four four snakes, yeah, you know, like three ribbons mm -hmm. and um, water, water snake, snake. broadbanded water snake that Michael spotted. Uh, snapping turtle that he spotted so I mean it's not a bad morning just for a couple hours in the middle of the summer so we'll take it but uh, I might try to get some herping in again before we head to the cruise that we're going on um, I think Monday tomorrow. so yeah tomorrow but um, keep you guys updated next time we get out there you have it. I'll be getting on a cruise with some friends for five days starting tomorrow. So next weekend will be that episode and we will be in Mexico. And you know I'll be getting some crazy herping in so you won't want to miss that. See you next time.